and for Talkative Tuesdays. Woo! And I am going to share with you something that I haven't actually done in a while. I just started getting back into doing it, which is drawing. And not only just drawing, drawing comics. Yay! Spare fingers. Yay. So, yes. I usually, I used to draw comics. I did that instead of passing notes. So I was that kind of, you know, cool artsy kid. So I'd pass comics instead of passing notes to my friends. And we just did that back and forth all the time. It was just about like stuff that was going on in school, just like funny stuff or like if we had a weird dream. So yeah, so I had a weird dream recently. And so, so I decided to make a comic out of it. And it was about one of my coworkers. So I already asked her permission if I can just feature her in a video. And she said, okay. And it's actually taken a few months to do this because I had that dream about a few months ago. And she's like, finally, you're actually doing the video now, finally. So I've been really lazy about drawing. It's like I don't have a passion for it like I did when I was younger. So, yeah. But I'm forcing myself to get back into it because I actually do enjoy it when I just, like, immerse myself in it. So, yeah, and this was one of my notebooks when I was in junior high and high school. So, if y'all want to see everything that's in here, you can comment down below or I'll just do that anyway. Because, you know, I do what I want. <laughs> so, let's get started with the story time comic dream having -ness, ness So, yay. Let me find the page. Alrighty. So yeah, story starts out with me asking Nisa, it's me, it's Nisa. Ask Nisa, it's like, hey girl, hey Nisa, wanna have a girls' night? She's like, sure. So I'm not more organized about this. So yeah, so the dream pretty much, like, we do, you know, what normal 20-something adults do. We go out and drink. And so that's just boozing and LOLing, lolling, maybe some boogie-boogie time, dancey-dancey, fancy-fancy-dancey-dancey. And then... Then this happens. They show up. They. Ooh. Ooh. Don't ask me why I'm doing the Doctor Who theme. So, zombies. Zombies. Yeah, and then I woke up. So yeah, pretty much dreamed about asking my coworker to hang out with me, and because I actually really, actually really, really like my coworker. She's a really cool chick. She's a mom. She's like a year younger than me. She's got gorgeous, like colored red hair. I'm so jealous of her hair. I'm so jealous of her makeup. I'm jealous about her, just overall cuteness and stuff. So like, I just really girl crush on her very hard. Like, not girl crush as in, like, I want to be with her, but just, like, I just really, really, really want to be her friend. So this is, that's probably why I dreamed this up and whatnot. So, and the zombies just come into play because I know she's a huge Walking Dead fan. So obviously, you know, your dreams are everything that your conscience, your, uh, consciousness is kind of just, like, put on the back burner and then it just all comes, like, up front you know, stand at attention like when you're asleep. That's basically what dreams are. That's my scientific explanation on dreams. And so, so yeah, so I dream, dream of zombies because Nisa's really into Walking Dead. She's really into zombies and stuff like that. And I really want to hang out with her. 
And so yeah, so I didn't I didn't get to an ending. I didn't get to an ending. I don't know what happened to us, but I drew two scenarios that could have happened. So here's a happy ending where we, you know, all katana guns, chainsaw massacre. I drew like a little I don't know if you can read that, like good night. It's kind of a hats off to Harlequin. Harley Quinn, because Nisa's really into Harley Quinns as well, so you're welcome, Nisa. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so us vanquishing the evil zombies or us just getting eaten, which would be the lot. That would be the, the actual thing, because I mean, we went out and we went drinking, so I doubt us in a drunken party state would actually like be able to kill zombies. Maybe if they were like the really slow moving kind, maybe we'd have like a slight chance. But if they're like, you know, what's that video game? It's got like the exploding and the like rage zombies. I forget what it's called all the time, but those kind of zombies, like infected people, then yeah, we're not gonna stand a chance. So it'd be more like this ending and poor Nisa's like getting her eyeball and arm eaten and I'm just like this person is just like this redhead zombie is just kind of sucking all my brain juice out yeah it would, it would end like that it would end like that let's be honest here's a cute thingy though let me skip back to the zombie page Doo -doo -doo. Look, I drew a little wormy friend for Mr. Zombie Guy here. But then if we, if like the happy ending happened and we actually like vanquished the zombies and we're like badass hero type chicks, that's kind of a bad thing because then I like destroyed Mr. Wormy's home and he's got to slither off to a new home. So yeah, so maybe it's a good thing this would happen because then Mr. Wormy gets to keep his home. So yeah, so that's the kind of stuff that I would draw in like middle school and high school and I just thought I was like the cool like artsy like individual and stuff like that but yeah so that was a weird dream I had about my coworker because I really 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 want to be friends with her and stuff she's probably never gonna talk to me now after this video that's okay that's just how adult interactions go. You either like you let your crazy out and people stop talking to you or you just keep it inside and then society accepts you. So you make your choice. Bye guys.